There are now two cases of a serious form of West Nile here in Louisiana. Including in East Baton Rouge, Elise Corville has some helpful reminders for you this summer. It's dangerous and it's here. The state is reporting two cases of West Nile neuroinvasive disease in Louisiana, one right here in East Baton Rouge Parish. We're picking up West Nile virus in mosquito pools um, across 13 or 14 parishes right now. So it's, it's out there in the state. It likely will get worse as the summer goes on. West Nile virus is the leading cause of mosquito-borne diseases in the United States. It is most commonly spread to people by the bite of an infected mosquito. While 80% of cases are asymptomatic, many people can develop West Nile fever. Symptoms include fever, headaches, body aches, nausea, and or rashes. Because it unfortunately mimics flu, which mimics COVID, um, it's kind of runs that gauntlet of what we see with these viral borne illnesses is they have a lot of the same what we call prodromal symptoms. So you want to make sure that, okay, is it something where we were maybe exposed to someone who was sick with something or, okay, yes, I got eaten by a ton of mosquitoes. Uh, what do I do about that? A small percentage of people can develop a severe form of infection. In 2022, the state experienced over 40 West Nile neuroinvasive disease cases, resulting in seven deaths. Anything really above um, 101 that won't come down with Tylenol, Motrin. Um, if someone's acting confused, if someone's having really bad muscle aches or kind of having spasming of the muscles, um, if any respiratory issues, heart issues, we would want you to go and like seek care and get evaluated uh, in the emergency room with that. There are no vaccines to prevent West Nile, but there are some things you can do to protect yourself. If you will be outside, you should wear EPA registered approved mosquito repellent. Apply repellent on exposed skin and clothing. If you will be outside for an extended period of time, consider bringing a travel size container of repellent. If also you are using sunscreen, apply the sunscreen first and insect repellent second. Elise Corville for WAFB 9 News. Within the last two months,